The concept of our humble restaurant, Cocoson, there's the mix of two words, corazón for us Latinos and... Kokoro uh, means heart from Japanese. So actually is uh, Latino America and Asia meeting together. And uh, what you're drinking right there is a matcha limonada. Enjoy. Thank, Thank you. you. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. 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 Salud. Salud. Are we walking? Yeah, let's walk. Part of my reach. Thank you. Ooh, nice. That's beautiful. So in Japanese cuisine, we start with a course that introduces a vegetable. Today I use eggplants. With Maria's help, she made a sesame mole. On top is him free cock it. Enjoy. Enjoy. Thank you. It's so flavorful. I could show that's coming down, everybody. You done? That's walk. That's walk. Excuse my reach. Thank you. Mm, beautiful. This course is a collaboration between Jamie and I. So it's a lightly cured sockeye salmon with a rocotto curry sauce and crispy people. Okay. Oh my goodness. I'm a loss for words. It's got so much flavor and, and, and restraint. Lots of different textures. Ooh, I just got a hit of passion fruit. I love the curry. I think this is one of the best curries I've had. I just feel like it really overpowers the salmon. You have a kind of lingering heat that's a little too much for a second course for me. The salmon on its own, the cure is really nice. It doesn't need the salt. Mm-hmm. Let's start walking. Thank you. Sando. No silverware for this one. This one's finger food here. Yeah. You get all dressed up and you're eating tongue sandwiches. That's <laughs> <laughs> me again, the Mexican. This is my take on the sando. Pickled mustard, onions, and lengua that is being slow roasted for five hours. Enjoy. I'm a sucker for anything you dip. Can I dip it? I'm in. <laughs> Can we walk, please? Chopstick front, please. Special one for the special lady. Yes, food on a tree stump. <laughs> Finally. Hello. The tempera is lotus fruit, shiso, and rockfish that is chopped up with an ume paste. Provecho. The texture of the root's really good. Yeah. I like the ume paste a lot. I like the dish. I think it's good. It eats bright, even though it's fried. I think there's a nice amount of acid. Hi. So here is the short rib. So I made a short rib with a kalbi glaze. I did a little quail egg and finished off with a little puff rice. We did a salsa together. Yeah, uh, salsa morata. It's a little bit more pungent than a chipotle. Enjoy. Enjoy. It's really tasty. And then just a great balance with the egg and the meat. It was really delicious. That smells delicious. You smell delicious. Whoa. Uh, Ooh, the oh, wow, that's, oh. that's beautiful. Nice. For the last savory course, we want to do something that's family style and something that incorporates all of us. And what better than a hot pot because uh, it just breaks through any culture. The stock was made by... Me and Maria. The seafood was cooked with a lot of aromatics. The rice is finished dulce style and we added the shrimp. Shrimp machaca. Enjoy, guys. Thank you. Thank you. I'm impressed. Yes, it's very traditional and homey. All the seafood, all the flavors, the aromatics, you got everything in this dish. It really felt comforting and soulful. It's pretty good. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna start, okay? Here you go. Ah, that looks really good. For our last course, a collaboration once again, Tres Leches. So this is a steamed cake, kind of more eggy based, something I grew up making. And then I take a coconut and condensed milk and you'll and then we put a little bit of fresh pineapple and we did doop, and then fresh coconut for texture and it crunch crunch. You, you haven't, oh, you, see, she's it's my new, first time. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> You'll get used to it. Delicious. Yeah. It's fantastic. The basil in it is so creative and the pineapple two ways. Mm. I love this. It was the perfect way to end a meal. I think we have to hit the road and do it all <laughs> over again. Yeah, we do. How's everyone feeling? My octo just needs to come out, and then I need to plate up this tostada. Okay. We have three minutes. This is not on the menu. We have an heirloom corn tostada with a fat bastard oyster, and then some snapper that's been cured in uh, roasted kelp, chilies, and allspice. Thank you. You know, I like the flavors of this tostada. I'm just finding it feeling very weighted down by the size of the fish. Okay. Caviar, oh. caviar. All right. This is a warm crab salad in a corn puff, a cross between a johnny cake and a puri with island coconut sauce. Mm -hmm. 
What a welcome surprise. It was a strong contrast to the tostada that we got. It does not look good. That better be yogurt over there. <laughs> okay. Thank you. My pleasure. I did a halibut crudo with an ajo blanco sauce, some confit green cherry tomato, and some fresh red cherry tomato. Thank you. Of course. There is no connection between the first dish and this dish at all. We had raw, cooked, the raw again. Thank you. Wow, now look at this. It smells really good. Yeah. So what I've made today is a seared scallop with a Creole XO and a ham hot broth. Wow, we needed this turn here. <laughs> Thank you. This is freaking delicious. Had me at a ham hot broth. It was clarified beautifully. And that broth had so much richness. I get really critical over people that make XO. I love that she threw the crawfish in there. That's just so brilliant. I'm jealous I didn't create this dish. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're ready. <laughs> right. Thank you. I wanted to make a dish vegetable forward with a little bit of seafood. I've got a crispy salmon skin with pak choy turnips and hazelnut brown butter sauce. Where's the rest of the salmon? We're gonna save the salmon for dinner tonight. <laughs> it feels slightly incomplete to me, like it's missing that piece of salmon. All right, we're good to walk. So, tortellini. It smells good. This course right here is uh, tortellini and brodo and seafood broth. And inside the pasta is a shrimp farce. Do you have any egg yolks in the pasta? I do have egg yolks, yes. Hope you guys enjoy. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Flavor-wise, the dish is good, but I think this pasta technique is just not there. It's gorgeous. Mm -hmm. This is octopus served with a really bright, herbaceous mole verde squash. And then there's a little bit of a heat from the chile serrano. It's very spicy. Did I get a very spicy drip? <laughs> it's spicy, um, but it's not too hot. Thank you, Gabe. Thank you. There you go. Oh, this is petite. All right, last course for you all. We have a kelp ice cream with a coconut meringue, toasted hazelnut, and a seaweed salt. Wow. Points for getting something from the ocean other than sea salt into dessert. Thank you. All in all, two really, really special, delicious meals. Now let's get to judges' table and hash it all out.